time. So we're going to go right in. I'm going to introduce uh, 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 Justin Burdett, our, our director of product. Um, he's been with Jetpack three years, going on 30. Uh, he has two kids, two kids under the age of four, and he's been working with software companies, small software companies for 10 plus years. And I'm so excited to hand the mic over to him to talk about the trends we're seeing inside of our community. Uh, Justin, go ahead and take it away. I'll give you presenter control. And I'm really excited to uh, dig into the content that you have in store for our community. All right, Justin, it looks like your audio is coming on. All right, hey everyone, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, David, I cannot start my video right now. So I don't know if uh, that's something you can fix or not, but uh, hopefully my screen is sharing. Screen looks good on my end. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, thanks so much for your time and attention. David, thanks for the introduction. Um, as David mentioned, I'm the director of product here at uh, Jetpack Workflow. Um, I've been here with the company for three years, as David mentioned. Um, and uh, my role here uh, on the team is to help understand all the challenges, problems, and issues uh, you all are facing. Help us understand those problems better, uh, determine what we should be working on, help them help work with the engineering team to make sure that they happen, and uh, then work with the rest of the team to make sure that they get in, delivered into your hands successfully and make sure that you have everything you need to uh, make sure you're set up for success. Um, and so uh, I have my caffeine here, but I do have two kids under the age of four. We had kind of a rough night last night. So uh, if I seem a little sleepy or a little tired, a little groggy, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm powering through, I'm trying my best, but uh, yeah got a time unfold at home, it uh, can be a little tough at times. All right, let's talk about um, what we're, what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I thought it would make, make sense to kind of uh, <clears throat> give you a peek into behind the curtain of kind of how we make decisions at Jetpack Workflow, some of the things that we use, some of the tools and techniques we use to, to make decisions, and, and talk about how you all can help us um, continue to drive product updates um, so that we're making the best app for you. So first, I want to talk a little bit about some data that we're seeing, some trends that we're seeing in 2020, things that we're keeping an eye on that we thought might be interesting to show all of you. And then uh, the second half of the presentation will be about how uh, ways that you can help us continue to drive product updates. So over the three plus years that I've been here, um, the great news is we've seen a lot of growth. Um, and just to give you a sense of kind of where we're at, today we're at over 10,000 active users using the platform. We have uh, just in 2020 alone, over 2 million jobs have been completed. And that means then 11 million tasks have been completed to date uh, in this year. So that's just a tremendous amount of activity, a lot of stuff happening, a lot of people, uh, which is really a testament to all of you and the growth and work that you're doing um, to, to, to do work for your clients, uh, which is awesome to see. Um, but it also on the flip side means that there's a lot of ideas, a lot of opinions, a lot of thoughts about what we should be doing next, what we could, what, how we can continue to help uh, our customers grow, how we can continue to help make sure that you're, um, you're getting organized and getting all your work completed. And so it can be tough to know always, you know, what to do. There's just like, you know, we'll hear from five people one, with one idea and then 10 people with a different idea and they, they might not be the same. And so uh, there's a few things that we use to help kind of identify, okay, how can we, how can we take all this input and turn it into a, an actionable plan? Um, the first is we look at some data. Um, and so one of the kind of grounding metrics we use, one of these key metrics that we look at is a metric we call jobs done on time. And so as the name kind of implies, uh, it's a very simple ratio. We look at the number of jobs completed before the due date, so on time, divided by the total number of jobs completed for a period of time. And that's a very simple ratio of the percentage. So the J dot, as we affectionately call it, uh, percent. So the thing with J dot is it's really not just a snapshot view, right? The thing that we need to look at is, are we, uh, you know, it's not really where you start, it's kind of where you are today, right? And it's the progress that we're helping our customers make. And so a thing that we have to always ask ourselves is, are we helping our customers improve JDOT or not? So I wanted to share with you uh, three groups of customers and kind of see where they are in the process. So the first group is a group of customers that joined us at the end of last year, December, 2019. And when I took a look at their first three months of jobs done on time, they were hovering around just under 46%. But if we look at their last three months, uh, we're seeing that number be about oh, just over 58%. So about a 12 and a half percent lift on jobs done on time. Then if I look at the customers who joined us in January, 2020, 
Um, again, the JDOT is a little bit higher at a starting point. So it's about just under 48.5%. But the last three months, we see that pushing over 60% or just over 12% improvement, which is great to see. And then again, with the gr group of customers that joined us in February 2020, um, this group started at a quite a bit higher JDOT, but even so, still see a pretty pretty big lift, uh, even in the last three months, at just over uh, two thirds of all jobs being completed on time, or almost a 10% improvement. So we know that our customers, you know, all of you are never going to hit JDOT 100% as much as we would like to, right? Things come up, uh, clients don't get you something that you need, uh, there's an unexpected absence with one of your team members, you know, whatever, stuff happens. We're never going to be 100%. But we are pleased to see the growth that uh, our customers in under a year have seen in proving their JDOT. And we believe by boosting up your JDOT, uh, we not only you know, give you less stress, give you happier clients, but we're also helping you be able to plan better, take on more work, and just really understand your capacity at a higher level. And so we continue to look for ways to, you know, one of, one of the things that we always think about is what can we add to the platform to continue to make jobs done on time go up? Um, and, uh, you know, we, we're pleased with the progress, but we know there's still, still more that we can do. Another thing we're looking at this year is kind of the difference between last year and this year, right? Um, 2020, obviously, at best, has been a weird year, a, a different year, a strange year. Um, and we wanted to see, you know, what, what are the effects of this year compared to what we've seen in the past? Um, so what I've done is I've taking, taken a, um, I, I've kind of created an average customer uh, of all the customers that we've had since the beginning of 2019 through today and kind of averaged them out and took a look at what are the, what's all the work that's being done uh, by month for both jobs and tasks from 2019 compared to this year. So here's that breakdown. And they're really, um, you know, the, the actual numbers don't matter that that much, but there are, I think, two key insights that I, that I want to point out. The first is across the board, we're seeing more work being done this year than last year. And so that's really exciting. I think it's a testament to the growth that our customers experience, you know, adding more clients or just taking on more projects for their, for their customers. Um, but there's obviously a very uh, distinct slowdown starting in March, then especially in April and in May, where there was a tremendous decrease in the amount of work uh, across the board that was done. And of course, here in the States and, and probably other places around the world as well, uh, of course, that's when things started locking down, um, you know, the pandemic started uh, coming in full force. And so uh, what we're seeing is a trend of more work being pushed down towards later of the year compared to the year before. And so if we look at in chart form, you can kind of see it even more distinctly. That red line there is 2020 compared to the blue 2019. And so obviously we're seeing again that you know more work being done in 2020 at the start than a very clear drop in starting in March, April, May, and then a rebound towards the end of the year. And likewise, even more starkly with tasks, um, again, an increase in the beginning of the year, then a pretty dramatic drop, then, an, then an, a kind of a bounce back towards the end of the year. So if this year has felt different to you, uh, know that you, you know, it's not just in your head, it really is different. Um, we, we're definitely seeing across the board, everyone kind of uh, having a very different shape to their year and a lot more work being done towards the end here um, you know, with, with reshuffling of, of deadlines and, and tax due dates and things like that. Um, okay, so that's kind of the data portion that I thought would be interesting to share with you. There is, um, there is, uh, you know, th there, that is just one kind of thing that we use uh, a tool in our toolbox to use to make decisions. We also look very, very heavily at uh, other sources of information. One of those big sources of information is feedback. Um, and so I thought I would take just a few minutes to talk a little bit about some ways that you can help us drive product updates inside Jetpack Workflow. So there are really three major ways um, that you can help. The first is, and many of you are already doing this, but please continue to give us your feedback, ideas, problems, or challenges. Um, let us know through support, through your account manager. Um, we, uh, you know, we have a small team and we have a lot of customers. We can't do everything immediately always, but we do log every, all those pieces of feedback. And we do try to, um, you know, kind of aggregate them together. It really helps us bubble up ideas and problems to the surface uh, in a way that 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 um, that helps us make good decisions. So that is really, really crucial. If you're already doing that, if you're not doing that, please let us know what you think. Um, we really do take that into account. It's really, really important to us. The other way you can help, which is a little bit more of a more of a time commitment, is um, from time to time we'll send out either in-app or email-based, you know, surveys, questions, or even ask for, um, you know, short phone calls. 
And if you're able to provide some time and input in those, it really, really helps us. Um, often this is uh, focused on a particular area of the app or something we're thinking about doing. And you can really help us narrow in on those most important key things that we need to do. Uh, and it just helps us tremendously. So if you ever see an opportunity like that, if you're able to um, give us a little bit of your time to do that, it's tremendously helpful for us to make sure that we're building the right stuff for all of you. And then last, uh, and probably the biggest time commitment um, is if you would like to join our customer council. So the customer council is a group of customers that we bring together every now and then. Um, we kind of do things in a round table from time, sometimes we um, ask them for their input. We, uh, you know, uh, go to them as kind of trusted advisors for things. And we also share things like um, some, of the, some of the stuff that we're talking about today uh, in advance and get their initial feedback, even have some folks beta testing it. So if that's something you're interested in being part of, um, you can sign up at jetpackworkflow.com slash council. There's a Google form there for you to fill out. Uh, I think we'll share this URL after the conference as well. But um, if you're interested, that's uh, a great way for you to really have a direct impact on, uh, on what we're working on. So that's all I really have for you today. Uh, I hope this was an interesting look at some of the data and things that we look at to help make decisions, as well as some ways that you can, um, you can help us out, continue to improve the product. Um, uh, please let us know your feedback at any time. Like I said, we really, uh, really, really need it and really, really value it. And I appreciate you all. And thanks so much for